Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my November favorites. Oh my gosh, it's already the end of November. Or close to the end, so much to the end at least. So I'm doing my November favorites and I can't believe that it's going to be Christmas soon. As you can kind of see, I got my nails done. Like fall. I'll get them done for Christmas. I think I'm just going to get them done like red. With like sparkles on that finger. Okay. So first I will start out with like my like scents. Like my like smells that I've been wearing recently. So the first thing that I have is Vanilla Bean Oil. And honestly like if you love like super duper sweet like almost like you're baking cookies like that type of smell then you would love this and this was from last year I actually have two other bottles Out. this is an obsession this one is the one that I'm using right now this is an obsession but yeah And then another scent is my pink warm and cozy. And I don't know, I like scents like this. It says on the back, cozy up and toasted vanilla and panty. Yeah. And it smells super duper good. I can, it's sweet, but then it has like. I don't know how to explain this, but it smells really good, and I think you should go out and buy this, because, yeah, it's really good. Then another winter smell from Bath & Body Works, and this is the Winter Candy Apple. I honestly don't know. This is like an apple scent, but yeah, it's pretty. I like the bottle. I love the bottles this year though. This is the last year one. Um, talking about obsession with Vanilla B. Noel. Okay, that's super duper early. Got, um, a body cream. Vanilla B. Noel. Mm, so good. And I got the hand cream. This one's really good. I'm gonna let you know what. And I actually have a hand sanitizer on my purse. I have a pocket pack because I just love them. And I love Vanilla Bean Noel. So. Yeah. Then the last perfume that I have is the Twilight Woods. And it just smells really good. Yeah. So. And let's go on to nails. Um, this is an e.l.f. nail polish. I don't remember what it's called, but it's really pretty. It's my sister's room. But yeah, it's super, super pretty. I just have fake nails on. So, yeah. And then I have an Essie nail polish. I don't ever use Essie. And this is Essie's Ladylike, and it's just like a nude color. A mauve pinky brown new super duper pretty it's the prettiest nude ever it's opaque but I like it for the when I have the third coat on I was lying with me having my last scent I forgot this one and this is another pocket back this is their new packaging it's pocket back in pretty in pink and it just smells like cupcakes. Um, this reminds me so much of the graham cracker marshmallow one. Like, they smell super duper similar. So this one is... Yeah, this one has the little beads in it, and this one just has sparkles. Yeah, I see the sparkles. I think I actually really like the newer packaging better. 
because it's just a lot skinnier. Yeah. I didn't realize that they are one fluid ounce. Like, that's pretty, that's a lot. So I gotta put on some, let's put some on right now. So if I don't have my vanilla bean Noel pocket back in here, I will be using that. I will use that one. It smells so good. It's super good. Like, okay, you can smell it like a lot. It smells super duper good that I don't mind having it in that strong. And yeah. So, I'll talk about foundation brushes. Because, yeah. I used two. Two different ones. So the first one. Okay. Um, okay. The first one that I use is this Real Techniques Expert Base Brush. This, a lot of people like their buffing brush. I haven't tried that one yet. I have to clean this. It's super duper dirty. Yeah. Yeah. I want to try their buffing brush, but apparently it's only in a set, so I have to buy the set. That means I have to spend $18 that I don't want to. But oh well, I probably will just buy the set. Apparently, like, the other brushes in there are pretty good. But I bought this off of eBay, and this is the exact one. I spent $9 on it. But yeah, I've had this for like a year. It's still in really good shape. And I really like it. Okay. But yeah. So it looks like. Boop, boop, boop. And also, this is like another thing that I bought off of eBay. I like really cheap. It's just like a beauty blender. Squ squishy. No, not really like as like squishy as the beauty blender. like hard to like squish like people say that's a beauty blender super duper easy like you can barely apply force like you could like easily squish it but with, like this one you have to like apply a lot of force but, oh well i i use it to after this to like kind of tap out the brush strokes yeah that's it and yeah now let's talk about makeup Okay, let me put my brushes back. Hmm? Okay, so I literally just bought a new foundation like a couple of days ago. And it is the CoverGirl for Days like Gorgeous. I, I love the packaging. Okay, yeah. I've been using this, and it's going to replace any other foundations that I have. I am wearing it right now. It's nice, nice, it's nice and full coverage, or medium to full coverage. I mean, you can build it up to be full, but I like it to be medium. And it's super, super natural, honestly. Like, you can't even tell that I'm wearing it. And yeah, I got it in the lightest shade. I'm pretty sure this is the lightest shade. This is 105. It's really nice and awesome. Definitely recommend it. Okay, definitely recommend this. If I mean, it's super duper inexpensive, it's only seven dollars. And yeah, Just throw it on the floor. Oh my gosh, got there. Um. Then what I use to set it is my Airspun loose face powder. I bought a new one because you guys know that I love this one, but I'm pretty sure I used it in another video, and yeah, it's super duper amazing, I had to repurchase it because I ran out of it, but I know, there's like, there's 2.3 ounces, but it's like a loose powder, and honestly, like, it's the best thing that I've ever tried, it's like, nothing can replace this powder. You guys can kind of see the glare. My lights. Okay. And then, blush. I have a bunch of blushes that I like. So, 
This is the Open Fit Cheeky Sweet Spot. Yeah. And this is um, their last year blush palette. And amazing. Like, the colors are beautiful. Let's see if it pan on Coralie's Oh my god, I almost dropped it. Actually, I did drop it once. And the little thingy right there came off. Rose came off. And it's in my bedroom. Yeah, my favorite colors are Rockator. Rockator right there. Of course, Coralista. And the Hula Bronzer. Because I just really like the Hula Bronzer. I'm not wearing anything from this blush palette on my face today. Because I just recently got a new nice palette that's in my favorites today. So you will see what that is later on. <sighs> yep, those are my three favorite things from that palette. And yeah. Oh, for eyebrows. I use this um, Maybelline quad in Chai Latte. I use this lightest color. I didn't do my eyebrows today because I was too lazy. And also, I spent a lot of time doing my winged eyeliner. So that looks better. Look at this one. Okay. Yep, I finally figured out how to do a winged eyeliner. Be proud of me. I use this one and then sometimes I really use this on my lower lash line. I don't know why I just do. Man. For an eyeshadow palette, of course, I have to put it in my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I literally use this with most of my eye makeup. Eye makeup box until recently. I just bought this. Oh, shoot. I just bought this until I just got this on new palette. Okay, that's what it looks like. Ooh. And it's super duper pretty. My favorite colors are this gold down here. This gold right there. I love this burgundy color and also this one. This one, this one. Then I love this one. I love that one. That one. I really like that one. I'm trying to decide that I like that one, but I like that one. And I like that one. I like that. This is like a nice, really deep, plummy purple with like a bunch of shimmers. But it's super duper pretty. And honestly, like, if I had the Naked palette, like if I bought the Naked palette, and I then bought this, I would. 100% return it back to Sephora. Like if I just if I bought it in the same purchase, I would 100% return the Naked palette back to Sephora because this has more colors in it and it's of more of a variety. Like yeah, neutrals are mostly browns, but there's this green. Like it's like I don't know how to explain it, but it's like a green. Oh, here is that one's gilded ganache. Yeah, that one's gilded ganache. And then nobody would. Oh, should I just stick my finger in something? Nobody would think that one's a natural shade or that one. Okay, there's some smoky colors, and those are some smoky colors. But if you want like a natural smoky eye, then or a natural eye, go for this palette. Oh, and I also use this. This color right there is a highlight. Look at that. Look how look at that shimmer. Super duper pretty. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but it's super duper pretty. And yeah. 100% recommend that if you have the money to splurge on something. Definitely. And you're thinking about the naked palette. Don't go for the naked palette because it's more expensive. And also it has only 12 colors. This one has 14 colors, I think. I'm pretty sure. Here, let me check the box. Let me check the box. Yeah, this one has 14 colors. 
The Naked palette only has 12. Yeah, totally go with this and not the Naked palette. Now, this, this will always be my favorite. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Yeah. an amazing palette for if you like super duper natural eyes like I don't do much to my eyes for school I will literally maybe apply a shimmery color all over my eye and that's it like literally that's it I'm very boring with my eyes but yeah and I will apply shimmery colors and mascara. That's basically it. But this, I will use this when I feel like when I have the when I have more time in the morning. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Okay. Now, this palette I got for my birthday. It is amazing. The quality is amazing. Backing is amazing. Honestly, like everything that you get in there is amazing. So, yeah. So, my sister got me the Naked on the Red palette from Urban Decay. Uh, you guys will be getting. There you go. Everything is going to fall out. Just can see me feeling. And yeah, that's basically how I set up. I put you guys on towels, like three towels. Okay, so it comes with six never before never before seen eyeshadows. So there is dive right there. I don't know you guys can't even see. Dive, fix, resist, dare. Stun and 50-50. And then there's the blush and the bronzer. I used the blush today and the bronzer today. I used this, this color all over my lid, of course. And like I said, shimmery color all over my lid. And yeah. Actually, you guys can barely see it, but okay. You can barely see it, too. And also, it's... It's like the jumbo, it's a jumbo sized, an extra large, um, sized, like, this, it's the original size, oh, you guys can see me, but this is the original size, and then, this, these are original, there, and that's the jumbo size, but I used this for my highlighter today, but it's like a very subtle highlight. It's really pretty. I really like it. This was on sale for $32. Yeah, it's super number pretty. You guys can see all my fingerprints. You guys can see me. Mirror. But yeah. It's super duper pretty. And I really recommend it if you love like natural colors. I was like literally dissing the Naked palette. But this one is super duper pretty. And yeah, the color packaging around is like rose gold or rose gold color. I don't know. It's really pretty though. Yeah. I can't open it. I can't even open it. And it comes with a mascara. It's their perversion mascara. Honestly, this is my first time ever seeing this mascara before I got it. Okay, this is what fresh looks like. I'm wearing it right now. How school like it asked if I'm wearing fake eyelashes? I'm just like, no. But I'm wearing this mascara because it's like super duper natural. That, like creates a bunch of volume in it thickness 
should be pretty good. And that's the sample. And then here's another sample. This is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil and Stag. And that's what it looks like. It's like a super duper dark shimmery brown. It's really pretty. I really like it. And then these lip gloss I'm wearing right now, but it's super, super natural, so you can't even see. 